Tonight, a woman is desperately searching for a poodle that means the world to her father while he recovers from a stroke. She says the little dog went missing from the animal hospital where she dropped it off last week. KFTM's Jessica Crawford is investigating. She joins us now in the studio. And Jessica, how did that dog get loose? Well, Greg, that's what the woman is trying to find out. She's been posting these flyers all around town, and we went to Jasper today to get answers. Jeannie Schmidt is posting flyers, calling attention to a dog that helped her father through a stroke. It went missing. His exact words was he was going to name him Lucky because he was lucky and the dog was lucky. She's also picketing the Jasper Animal Hospital, the place where her mother dropped off the dog last Monday. Right, she got a call on Friday stating uh, that Lucky, our miniature poodle, had scaled a eight-foot fence. Schmidt says she took this picture Tuesday of a hole in the fence outside the hospital. We contacted the hospital's manager three times for a statement. She said the hospital has helped look for the dog. My mom put a lot of faith in this facility. They had used it, I believe, once in the past. Schmidt says this is the first time her family has had a problem with the business. According to documents we looked at from the Texas Board of Veterinary Medical Examiners, there were some issues in the past. Those documents show in 2013, the owner was unable to account for more than a thousand dosages of an anti-anxiety drug for dogs. In 2014, according to those same documents, the owner told veterinary assistants to remove the tails of two puppies, even though the animal owners didn't request that. Also in 2014, the board found there were non-licensed employees. While that was in the past, now others in the community are joining Schmidt's search for the dog. And everybody just went into the woods, started looking. And we've searched all this, all the way around, all the way to the creek. Animal control officer Renee Collier even set out a trap in place where neighbors believe they saw the dog. Schmidt just wants the dog to come back home to help her dad deal with stroke symptoms. By the grace of God today, I have a dad that has limited use of his right arm, no use of his right hand, and can't talk. And I believe Lucky is a huge, bears a huge part of getting my dad back to that. If you have any idea where the dog is, go to KFDM.com for information on how to contact the owners. Reporting in the studio, I'm Jessica Crawford, KFDM 6 News. What a story, Jessica. It has a lot of folks on our KFDM Facebook page talking. Here are a few of their comments tonight. One viewer says, quote, watching someone's dog is like watching their child. If you take on the responsibility, do it well. Shame on them. Another viewer writes, I would be about as upset as the people who boarded their dogs there. And finally, this one says, if they can't find the dog, then they should pay to replace the trained dog. They are like our children. I pray that they find their baby. If you would like to view the rest of these comments or even post one of your own, make sure you go to our KFDM News Facebook page.